description here already to copy and paste. Here we are. It's another Friday night. Three, two, one. Here at WBIG TV. Buffalo's choice of 25. How are you, Ryan Lysars, president of WBIG TV? Great. How are you tonight, Howard? I'm doing good. I'm happy to report that uh, my household is COVID free. It has been right along. Knock on, knock on wood. Well, that you know of. Yeah. Well, it's even better news if you had it and didn't not know it. Exactly. Really, any way you look at it, that would be good news because um, if you have it and don't know, and you're taking all the same precautions anyway, then at least you wouldn't be like upset and worried. And if, uh, and then of course, if you had it a month or two ago, then it's probably good news because you're probably less likely to, to get it. Yeah, I'm curious to find out. And now they're telling everyone, excuse me, Mike, go out, get tested. Yeah, I don't know why they, I got confused a couple months ago by this whole thing. So I'm basically minding my own business, you know, let somebody else figure it out, right? Right, you have more important no one, things to worry about. Well, no one's really asked me, um, like to cure the pandemic, you know. No one, no one really put that on my desk. Fortunately, not yet. Not yet. If they do, then I'll I'll drop everything and focus on that and do the best I can, I guess, you know. But uh, but they have not. So I'm just working on the stuff on my desk. What what you know? That's doing my little piece of the world to keep that turning. I'm going to do a couple forwards of our or shares, as they call it in the industry. I'm going to share the stream to a, my page and. Couple things like that. Well, so my mic will be a little lower while I'm over here doing that for a second. This is what we call the, the beginning of the show, right? Yes. Everybody likes that. Well, oh, I didn't. They do. I didn't probably hate it. But. I didn't turn on my chat window. Let's see who's with us. I bet you that. Yeah, yeah. whole bunch of people. Or Barbara Fisher. Hi, Barbara Fisher. Hi, David Corbett. Ryan's up there too. Happening yeah, now. Let's pretend that people like this part of the show. Okay, I don't want to forward last. One time I forwarded like a rerun. I shared a rerun instead of the live. Well, you wouldn't want that. Unless it's a better show. Right. It could be that last week's show will be a lot better than this week's show. It could be. That's the, that's the thing about live show business and live television is uh, it's that unpredictable nature. I mean, already we were kind of ahead last week because we had Mary at the beginning of the show. We did. And hopefully we'll have her towards the beginning of this show, too. Yes, don't worry, everyone. Mary will be there. Dave is excited to show off his grandfather's silk scarf on Zoom. Well, I hope he stays excited about that. Yeah, I hope he stays very excited. Yeah. I'm just taking care of a little sharing here, everybody, and then we'll... Well, Steve Earnhardt is going to check back when Mary appears. I don't blame him. And we have Mary Kate O'Connell joining us. You know, they keep making uh, improvements to this technology. And it's like every week, it's like you're looking at it for the first time. I know. The change changes, changes a little bit. Know how to do this? In, uh, improvements. Oops. There I am. 
At least we know it's working. Is... Oh, Dave says his excitement right. knows no bounds. Well, we'll find out. Yeah, well, we're gonna test. Oh, we're gonna test those bounds. Okay, great. Now I'll just get my little copy and paste thing here. Um, here we go. Here, Ryan, this thing I'm, you, you can copy and paste that too, unless, unless you want to improve upon it, except you know what, it's not working. It's not working? Well, it didn't expand, the Zoom piano bar. I thought it would maybe expand. Let's see what happens if I do. Oh, well, Dave is asking about the tip jar. We have something even better than that. We have something where you get something in return. It's the first lounge paywall in history of man. So great. Well, it's, it's great to be here on a Friday. You know, boy, I thought this week would never end. You know, and now, thank God it's Friday. Right, Bill Zimmerman? Happy Friday. Zoo, we've got a new feature here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you feel like dressing up, and I know some of you do, um, because our Zoom feature has been a big hit since we started it uh, like three weeks ago. So we've, we've gone pro with it, and we, we paid, it's literally the pro, the pro upgrade that we uh, spent tens of dollars for. And so now they will not interrupt every 40 minutes, so we won't have to start the meeting over. And um, it, we've, we've instituted um, a an admission ticket system for people that want to enter the VIP lounge. You know, for those people that, for the classy upper crust people that like to put on a, a tuxedo, or, or even casual like me with a white shirt, tie, and coat, which is certainly acceptable until I upgrade myself and then I'll get snooty and make people dress better than that. But since I'm doing it, you know. And um, so if you're, if you're into to really partying, you know, like the elite, you know, like the billionaires, we've got a link for your convenience, it's uh, zoompianobar.com, which is a pretty cool, pretty cool domain name, you know, pretty, and that takes you right to the ticket booth, and it's actually, it's not a lot of money, you can actually pay anything you want, um, it, it has to be at least a dollar forty, I think, right, Ryan? Because yeah, it's some, a dollar forty. I couldn't get it to... I couldn't get it to accept anything lower than that because there's fees involved. We don't we don't even get the whole thing because we we pay the, the ticket service, but it's it's kind of a proof of concept. You know, it's we we take little steps every week to try to get us to the big time here. And uh Dan was watching last week's feed. Yeah. I was afraid that would happen when I um shared last week's uh several a couple hours ago up to the top of my page, and I've done that, Dan. It's nice to see you, Dan H. Yes, welcome, Dan. So nice for, to see you again. So anyway, if anybody's interested in, um, in being a Zoomer, you can, uh, you gotta be dressed, you know, same rules that we've had, except there's no audio joins. Nobody was doing that anyway. It, it was actually a way to be polite as people were getting used to the system, right, Ryan? They'd come in and they'd look like slobs, so we'd cut off their picture to explain. Now it's all explained. Right when you buy the ticket, it explains the dress code. and So you just come in and you're on video, and if not, then the bouncers will throw you out. But well, that we'll won't... see if we have anyone yeah. who pays to come in and then gets bounced out. Yeah, it is going to cost you. You, you pay. It's, it's, it's called pay what you wish. You pay anything you want, and we, we don't expect... We, we know our cadets. We don't, we don't expect... I don't expect the dollar and forty actually to tell you the truth, but 
We're going to find that out, and we don't even get the whole dollar forty. It costs thirty cents per transaction plus five percent, plus nine percent for New York State sales tax. So it's like buying gas. You know, where you pay a couple bucks and you're getting like twelve cents worth of gas. You know, so that's that's how it filters down to us. But anyway, it's on there. And if you if you're you know if you're rich, like you just got. Uh, you know, if you just stole somebody's uh, government check or something and you're feeling really, and you're drunk and you're just feeling really generous, you, you can pay as much as you want for an admission ticket to get to the VIP thing and you can yeah. be a real big shot. We'll take $1,200. Yeah, no questions asked. So, but, oh, here, Mary's here. This is great. Speaking of big shots. Oh, how exciting. Howard will have to learn the Billy Joel song, Big Shot, for this occasion next time. <laughs> Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. Like and hey, she's got to go into wardrobe now. She's <laughs> on the way. <laughs> she could hear Ryan outside. Ryan, Just... it sounded like you're right here. Louder. It sounded you... as if he were here. You were so impressed with your Halston dress, Mary. With my Halston dress. That's part of the support New York State. I'm in a New York sales tax state of mind. Wow, talk about, talk about big rollers. Now, at the uh, casinos, I saw a big gambler once told me at the casinos they call uh, big the big spenders the whales. Ryan, have you ever heard that term? I've heard it at Lounge Academy. We use that term here because we're like the casinos. We we think big, and uh, so I'd like to welcome Whale Bill Jenkins to the show for tipping six dollars and ninety cents. We're we're ahead of the game already, and we're just starting the night. This is great. Yes. Great. Who says there's a big recession? Not at Lounge Academy. Here we keep raising our prices. It's Betty, ladies and gentlemen. Betty's in the lounge. And it's Friday night to you and all the lounge cadets. Tracks them, you know. The big spenders. They like those blondes. They love the big spenders. They do. Hey, big spender. Spend a dollar forty on me. Oh, you should guys get a glimpse of Mary. She's. She's right with the program as far as the dress. I'm in my I'll take a, I always forget to take this gear down, our rehearsal gear. It's usually while I walk across the set. Well, we always like to say that your tips go to support our toilet paper, <laughs> even though we're not using any at the moment. Well, I, I, I might be. The, the price may have gone up. It's a good thing we buy that bulk toilet paper when we did. We buy the big, uh, for those of you that, I think everybody who's tuned in right now that I'm aware of has, has been to Lounge Academy in the flesh. And, um, and their flesh has experienced our, our men's and ladies' rooms. We, we've got the big, uh, like, like the rich stadium size rolls. And, and they're double rolls that go in these big institutional contraptions on the wall. And you, when one finally empties, which takes about two years, the user can intuitively slide the, the little, it's like a giant mouse trap. It's crush, and it's got teeth on it. It's the teeth cut the toilet paper. It's quite a thing. 
it's really they've refined those and thanks to Ryan th those big machines toilet paper dispensers these institutional jobs that we've got here at Lounge Academy they came with the building because I wouldn't have even known they existed to go out and like buy them I would have been like everybody else running up and down the, the Jubilee aisles you know getting the toilet paper rolls and um, so Ryan because he's a professional buyer for a very large state institution he figured out where to get the key so we could open the thing to, to refill it and where to buy the, the right size rolls. And he bought yeah. big, the waffle key, they call it. The waffle key. It is shaped like a waffle. It's kind of like a uh, one of those jagged potato chips. You could probably use a, a, a really thick potato chip to open that thing if, in a pinch. Nice to have Patty with us tonight. Oh, that was a day ago she liked the page. Well, if she's still here, where's she gonna go, right? Everybody's kind of, look at Mary. <laughs> wow. Special from my closet. I miss being able to shop, but luckily the I Mar have the Mary closet. cam on right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Jerry Lee Lewis when I something like that walks in the room, right? We have a lot of camera angles. We've got a lot of angles. Ryan, what are you drinking? That one is a problem. But we'll I like how the closed captioning said puppet Steve Earnhardt, which is not what I said. Puppet. <laughs> Who's going to be the first to, to try out the new uh, admission ticket system for <laughs> zoompianobar.com? <laughs> I want to see if it works. <laughs> Everyone's ready to be complaining all night. I can't get this thing to work. It took all week to do that. show Mary um, um, Mike Jones usually likes the stream from Las Vegas that's such an honor yeah he's it is performing he's big Facebook. time he's big time that's yeah, he's, he's in really Vegas where they, they invented the word whale <laughs> well Dave Corbett there's when you when you when you buy the ticket there's a receipt and the receipt has a link that you could click, and it should take you right, right into the meeting. Can you renew it when it runs out? If it doesn't, then report it to right here to technical service. Yeah, what happens when the stream runs no, out? No, we're we're running the pro version now. It's not going to run oh, out. Oh, okay, I was. Yeah. About oh yeah. We're big time. Do you see the link, Dave? If not, it email a copy of it to your email too, just in case people lose it, because it's good all night. You could come in and out all night long on the entire three and a half hour show. You could use the same same link. No need to buy another ticket. Once you're stamped, you're in and out all night. I hope so, because this is kind of like a trial run, and I'm kind of hoping, not just for Dave's sake, for his, you know, to save his sanity, but to save my own. I worked I worked on the system all week. You know, it's the type of thing where it, it takes it literally takes like a week some when you're when you're on your own working on inventing. I'm an inventor by profession. That's that's what paid for this place, right? So so that's what I am, because that's 
And uh, you gotta just like go down all these blind alleys and you just keep starting again every day until you find the thing. You gotta exhaust the things that don't work. So by the time you figure out the solution, it's like the solution could have just as easily taken like three minutes. Right, Mary? <laughs> yeah. But you had to go the long way to you know, That's it, right. Because you know, there isn't somebody there to just say, hey, dummy, do this. You know, here's how you make a mouse trap. You know? So, but I'm, I, I was happy that we came up with this system. I don't, I, I hope I stay happy with it. If Dave pops up here, we'll know. Now, Dave is not, Dave Corbett is a great test for this because he, um, He's not a he's not a technocrat, you know. He's the first to tell you that we we know Dave that he um, he's not a geek that wastes his life playing with ones and zeros unless they're on <laughs> money. You know, it's it's a good way to be. That's how you get to be a whale in the first place. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, go to the zoompianobar.com, get your admission ticket. You too could have, you could be on the show, you could be dressed to kill. That you're going to have to provide yourself, but we know that you're within 20 feet of your closet. So just go over to your closet. You can, you don't need pants unless, you know, unless you stand up when we beg you not to. And so you really only have to put on, you know, a coat if you're a man. Woman could, women could wear men's things too. You could have jeans on and a very fancy New Year's Eve top, and no one would ever. Yeah, see jeans you. and a very fancy New Year's top. Yeah, I was thinking of doing that. Yeah, yeah except she's I, here. I have to be seen. I have to. We have to see her whole <laughs> thing. Yeah, that's, I take care of with anything. Ryan, what is that? What are you drinking? It should, um, <laughs> it should be just like, like the other weeks you've been using it. Um, what do you mean nothing happened? Try, uh, I could, uh, so, you know, I could send them the link in, uh, Facebook Messenger. Ryan, send them the thing, yeah, please. I'll do that. Yeah. Maybe there's. We'll try it that way. It's the same link Ryan is using, and it has worked. He got in. Oh, good. Oh, it worked. And Ryan is co-hosting the meeting. So, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is a first for humankind. This is the first paying ticket buyer to ever oh, enter a virtual piano bar in the history of mankind. That's right. <laughs> using a little bit of Mossbox technology, See, I was which we'll explain later. <laughs> that is great. Mm -hmm. it this is an exciting moment. Some of the oh, boxes look hello, nicer, too. Work? Hi, Dave. Hi. <laughs> how, <laughs> now, now, how was your, how was your customer experience? <laughs> Carry with the fringe on top. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. We're on the fridge. Well, you nice. look Dave you, you look just polished and buffed. Say 1930s, 1940s. Just oh. like your Rolls Royce. Yeah. I know. Beautiful. Can, can you expression era scarf? Now, now you're the well, first. We're not in depression yet. Just a little slow. So tell us about your customer experience as the first customer of yep. Lounge Piano. Of, zo of Zoom, Zoom Piano Bar dot com. Or Zoom Piano. Bar. Uh, well, you have to go to your email to get the ticket. That's the, that's the ticket. Well, that's how you do well, it. That's the ticket. All right. It could be you just it maybe you know people aren't don't know aren't used to knowing what to look for yet. But um, when that thing pops up and you pay, there's a little message there, and it's the link is right there. But it also emails it in case you know people. I was worried. Because I didn't see it at first when I was figuring out how this thing worked. 
I was afraid people would close the window, you know, and then so so it was in the so the backup email worked. Fantastic. Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. <laughs> this is great. We're on a new era now. Speaking of new era, they're they're closed right now. Across the street. Yeah, what's everything gonna open up? Something about guinea pigs there on the Oh yeah, that does make make sense. We're all guinea pigs. I'm a self-imposed guinea pig. I'm an auto guinea pig. This is. And tonight is very special. That's, very this special night does night. feel very special. I want to wear it for the initial VIP. I'll check out the experience. Why? Are you? Like to thank Barbara Fisher for liking our, for sharing our stream. It's quite a compliment when somebody shares your work. Bill Jenkins for his generosity and his support of the show to keep helps pay for that pro Zoom subscription. He has his own island. It's getting very summery out the way it stays light out, you know. There's the sun. Crazy. As we watch the sun slowly set, you can see the sun out yeah, the window. Yeah, with the sun set, with the sunset. Set, slowly really setting say. over the Department of Homeland Security and the, closer, yeah. and the oh, U.S. Attorney's oh, Office. Oh, as the I was in such a rush sky is right? glancing oh, off of their windows of the U.S. Attorney's crazy. Office and <laughs> casting a glow upon well, you don't Lounge Academy. I had this nagging feeling in the back of my head. I have a feeling I've been here before. Better go, Why? Why shouldn't I take a chance when Mary Quinn stops by? shouldn't I know of love? Why? Why wait around when each age has a sage who has found that upon this earth love is all Chaos. 
the battle, right? Look at Dave Corbett. He's thriving in chaos. He's never looked more, you know, more sure of himself. I think he shorted. He shorted this market. I sold my shorts. It's that nice the way this this really works, you know, this virtual piano bar, mm -hmm. because you've got people sitting at another table, the VIPers that that bought a ticket for the private, the VIP section, which isn't really that private because their conversation is being broadcast That's right. along with closed captioning That's all around the world. But you know, we've got there. They get to have, you know, just like here in the room. That's what we're trying to design: is when people sit over at the VIP table behind you that can be seen from this, well, it's blocked by the current uh, Zoom thing that I got set up, but um, typically, you, you, you take, typically you'll get two different conversations going on at the, the long VIP table, Yes. one at each end. Sometimes they, it becomes one big conversation. I know, those are loud. Right, and then you've got another several conversations, even even around the bar, yes, especially right. when I'm playing, because then the, the the din of the piano noise brings it up, which provides like a cloak, a, a kind of a security cloak, kind of like Maxwell Smart had, you know, yeah. where they everybody can have little conversations going. And, or you can, like now, everybody's listening to me, you know. Yeah, we're all listening. And, that, and that's the job of a, of a pianist, a cocktail pianist, is to, uh, to provide the conversational currency, the underpinning of society. To help establish comfortable conversation, and when they're not, they don't have to feel like they gotta keep talking because there's entertainment. You sit back and we're not gonna talk and <laughs> no, I, no, the whole idea is that I was celebrating that it was working. The whole idea is when you're doing your job, this job, people are having a ball, they're talking, they're, you know, kibitzing. Oh, look at this, Denmark's checking in. It's Vicky from Denmark. Nice to see him. Wow, look how great she looks. Fancy, she looks like a big, a big millionaire. Look at, look at her dining room. It's got statuary. enough if a zoom bomber comes in and pays enough for a ticket he can, he can post obama or whatever he could build you know reagan whatever whoever he wants that's how it works in the big town here's what they're singing you know they emptied the prisons which i guess you know i guess there's no choice you know charlottesville virginia i think I just realized I was working without my tablet. Maybe I don't even need this thing. I like your Statler background. Thank you. 
Dave Corbin disappeared. We could fix the background here so it looks as if we're at the Algonquin Room or something. Who needs the Algonquin yeah. Room when we got the lounge academy, Mary? What, what we the heck? The She's turning on me. I just want to this is the place. People. This is the place. Yeah, that, well, the Algonquin Room, it would be a great tribute no, we just to a great room. room. Yes. We could make Algonquin cocktails. <laughs> I tried to order one of those at the Statler once. Didn't go over too well. What is an Algonquin cocktail? Well, I remember it has some pineapple juice in it. Oh, the best cocktails with pineapple. Yeah. Um, I don't even remember what else is in there. I have to venture Jane back to Tom to get more grapefruit juice. I'm not a great How person. are you, sir? The great. Well, which could have Jake Farquhar said. Oh, hi, Jake. He's also a cap collector. Hey, fall over. No. Nice to see you, Jay. We were wondering if anyone was going to show up today. We previous stars. Ryan, why don't you post, uh, maybe, <laughs> Ryan, put the, put the link in the uh, thing, you know. <laughs> keep, keep throwing it in there like we usually do, because otherwise, they'll see that link, they won't know what it's for on the screen, because yeah, they're not familiar with it. <laughs> We're, we're happy to have you here, of course. That's the main thing. Right here where we can chat. And... Are you cooking up something over there, Rich? I like that, uh, those, that fancy uh, baked goods you made. That looked like very professional. That was... He made this really fancy. Oh, I saw thing. that uh, just on my phone when I was trying to turn the camera and go off on it. I wanted to get on the stage and get a better look. Yeah. That looked beautiful. It, yeah, it did. Yeah. It looked like Janice Schlau made it. The richest bacon bread, that's great. Looks like you just put uh, zoompianobar.com up there. See if it see if it shows up as a link. Social shaming, if you the don't know. The mayor of Oklahoma City had um, commanded everyone to wear masks when they leave their houses. 
But then a couple kids started clowning around in one of the stores and pretending to be armed robbers with their masks. So the, the mayor put out another directive, masks are forbidden. <laughs> <laughs> he changed his mind in 24 hours. Now we know the real reason why Dave pulled that stuff back from his archives. That's what he used. If you'd like to join our Zoom stream, of the Zoomers here, uh, get first of all, put on your, put on your best outfit and... Uh, for a, for a cocktail party and for your convenience, um, you can go to zoompianobar.com. Zoompianobar.com, and that'll show you the way to get your admission to the Zoom VIP lounge. And you can join Ryan and Vicki from Denmark. Dave Corbett from Rolls Royce. The beautiful people. The elite. This heart of mine was doing very well. The world was fine. As far as I could tell. Academy now that we're high rollers here. While the world's licking its wounds, we're licking our cocktails. We laugh at adversity. Thank you. 
Academy. It's very nice. XO back to you. I think I know who that is. I, I recognize her signature there. The XO. Here's one for Anonymous. Anonymous, the more I see you. What's that? I'm able to see if, um, if Barry has been a customer already. It says it wants him to pay again. <laughs> well, maybe you could uh, walk him through it. Have him check his email for that link. We'll have to put, you know what I'll do for next time? Of course, everybody will be good at it. But the, of course, there's always, there's always new people. Again. I'll, I'll make a little. I'll make a little video that people could watch, you know, and where it shows and like where to look for the link when the receipt comes out and what to do if you can't find it. That you can go to your email. Yeah, you can have one of the, the bouncing ball. 
We'll base it on the, the user experience <laughs> feedback from tonight. We'll know what. Is there a jingle? Are. You remember the bouncing ball? We, we can make it musical. Yes, a little jingle. <laughs> Yeah, Ryan, why don't you check on Barry and give him a little walk through? <laughs> Ryan's duties are many. Even when he's not, when he's yeah, wearing a towel, he looks like he's dressed up. He just carries way. himself like he's yeah. someplace fancy yes. all the time. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Some people just have I that. I wish I had that. And those are the. He dresses for life. <laughs> oh, Vicky, come on. You, of course you do. You've got that regal look. Look at that. Look at Vicky. She looks oh, like she's the queen of the queen of Denmark. Weather, Bill Zimmerman. Got the weather for us from the, the boating weather. Bill, uh, Bill, if you want to join us tonight, on uh, I'm going to put on your just throw your jacket on from your closet. You know, tie would be cool. Go to uh, zoompianobar.com and get your ticket. It's it's. You can, it's a it's a thing where you go through and you can you can pay whatever you want, you know. It's a it's a dollar forty was, was like the you least. You've got to write a song. And pay what you want. Pay what you pay like what you welcome, want. Like welcome, Jay. Nice to see you, sir. He's wearing his he's wearing his suit, but you can't see it because he's got it skillfully set up there. Great. We got Jay. See, Jay, Jay knows how to handle himself in different situations. How are you, sir? It's great to see you. It's great to see you. Today is great. We get to look and see his home. <laughs> now, Jay, you're not, you're not, go, go over to your closet, throw your coat on. I know you've got all kinds of suits. The guy's an executive. Yeah, and he does teach his Yeah, just go. Yeah, go on. This is a classy place, Jay. Just go over to your closet, and throw your throw your clip-on blazer on. That's all you gotta do. Or you could do more than that if you want. <laughs> I love seeing Jay's face. We gotta, we gotta set a good example for everybody. Yeah, okay, we'll save your space. No one will touch your drink. <laughs> no one will touch your drink. See, see how that works? A little public shaming goes a long way these days in 2020. Everyone's catching on. <laughs> public shaming. What a shame. It's a great game to point the blame. It's called public shame. their masks yeah well you just see them on the ground i only have one so it's like having yeah, one you know, car you don't the care who's it yeah it just kind of kicks around. i guess you're supposed to wash them and stuff. <laughs> well we don't we don't have to use our we don't have our sheet of very often. Denmark yet. we're just a little behind <laughs> so i really wanted to hear about sweden yeah she can hear yeah she can hear you hey vicky what are you I wanted to hear about Sweden. I couldn't hear a lot of that. Is there talk in Denmark? Is there a lot of gossip on how Sweden is doing? And how is Sweden doing? You can't get news anywhere. I don't know what's going on. I'm yeah. interested. So I follow on to a Facebook group called Americans in Sweden. Okay. And I can... I'm going to join I can uh, 
give feedback of my impression of the Denmark to the Swedes. Okay. To the Swedish people. They're American, right? So they're not Swedes. But okay. They're, you know, they're Yes, but they're right? in Sweden, yeah. And they can see. What do they say is happening over there? Um, so in Sweden, uh, basically they like their freedom. Yeah, I know what the situation and is. I was wondering how this illness is doing. Are they getting a lot of... But this is part of it. It's oh, okay. political, right? Oh, so yeah. uh, they don't oh, want anybody telling them what to do. And in Denmark, there's a lot of rules. So we're very different in that way. Oh, and in Sweden, um, it's basically they just go about their day as, as usual and try to keep a social distance. Yeah. And that's it. And some people think uh, that it's okay to go with masks, and mm -hmm. some a lot don't. There's yeah. no masks, no masking. Yeah. Um, it's just basically it. They've so, not closed their doors, right? So. I see. So, so the, their hospitals are not overwhelmed in Sweden or anything, or would? No. It's okay. Yeah. But they they're having issues, but they just think. I mean, there's some people that think that the issues aren't being brought to the forefront, oh. and with with all this um staying home that the that people will just catch the virus later that's well that's They're what i kind of think that in. they might have more deaths but otherwise you're kind of kicking the can down the road you know but I don't yes know. it's it's delayed reaction is what some think right there's a yeah. lot of people have been with no one really yeah knows. i know it's very but mysterious Chase yeah. back yeah. the well, he's, he's looking very avant-garde tonight so very nice yeah. Yeah. jay fark was in my job
give me anything, baby, because I'm wearing a mask. She's out there. And Cindy Chan. Next week, Cindy's going to go with a full face makeup and try Zoom. Well, we can. be great to have Cindy Chan. Cindy Chan is beautiful. Just the way she comes out of the package. But that's fine. She usually has some spectacular fashion statement. I remember that white outfit she wore here. Was, she it, was it New Year's or my birthday? It must have been my birthday because she was wearing white. You wouldn't wear white to New Year's, would you? Winter white. Winter white? I think it was your birthday. I think it was. Because we were eating ice cream. Yeah. And the heat was on. Oh, okay. And the heat melted the ice cream. Right, Cindy? Hope she's not still here listening to this, us gossip about her. Oh, I remember her. that time. Yeah, she was sitting underneath the <laughs> hole. She called it the hole. That's right hole. up. It's right where I'm pointing up there. There's a, a vent, and the, the lens yeah. wasn't in it. Yeah, the the air lens, the, the vent the thing. So the diffuser was not installed. So it was just shooting this this hot air blast straight down into her lap, which she liked until she was eating ice cream, and, and it, it completely yeah, like I nuked. Love sitting under that heater. It nuked oh, it before nuked. she realized oh, it. I, see, I like ice cream. And she she had, she actually got up and left uh, very sadly, grievously left the party because she was covered in ice cream. Is that isn't that what happened, Ryan? Yes. But she you know she has grace no matter what. The way she snuck out on all fours between people's legs, she did it in a real graceful way. That's Cindy Chan, ladies. Cindy says I tell a good story. That's the highest honor because she's a professional storyteller. They pay her to do it. With chocolate. See, she's backing me up on it. I was not making that up. If you if you touch the screen, I don't know if you could touch your screen. 
if it's a tappable screen or you mouse on it or something, more, more buttons show up and magically appear at the lower part of the screen and that has the mic mute on it. That's the trick. Everything has a trick nowadays. A trick used to mean something else. Now it means a techno thing. mission is going smoother than this. Now. You'd be so nice to come home to. You'd be so, so nice by the fire. Yeah, why don't you send them a link? Good idea. The, did, was he checking his email? Brian, were you keeping... He, he said he didn't get an email, but I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, just, send, just shoot him the link in his private message on Facebook. Governors have doing the sign language. <laughs> I love those guys. That's all we need. <laughs> yeah. I always wonder too, they're on television. Why do they need, or, or there's nobody know. there, there's no audience, so why can't you just close caption it? Yeah, and then more people understand close. I know it makes no that sense. Guy up there. That's how you know everything they're telling you is like, you know, not going to work really well because they can't even figure that out. I'm the best one, the best. The best practical joke in the world, in oh, my opinion. The, the number one joke. It was amazing. The, mo the, the number one joke of all time. Oh, I remember. In my opinion, and I, I think it would be hard Your to, to shoot it down. Was who, who was it? Was it was it Obama? It was Obama. It, it happened to be Obama. It was nothing it to do. It could have been But it was Obama. It could have been Jay Farquharson, but it was Obama. <laughs> and he was but giving it's funnier if the higher up you are, the funnier it is. So it's the president. Yeah, it was the president. Okay. And he's with President the, Obama when he was president. Yeah, wasn't he over in Africa or something? Nelson, Man, Nelson Mandela. Oh, it had something it was, to do with Nelson, Nelson Mandela. Mandela speech. Something about, but anyway, I don't know. And some it. guy, oh, one of the local guys, well, they had a, remember? You guys must remember this. There, there was one of those signers, those sign interpreters, next to him. The whole speech, this guy's going like crazy, right? <laughs> I mean, 
going nuts. Then after after it's all done, like what a day or two later, yeah. it came out that this guy, he had just gone up there and was faking it. He, he, had, no, <laughs> he had no training. I don't know, like if he was like went up there as a gag for, and then he, he's. Meanwhile, he's invested in this big, long speech that's going on, this big, somber speech. <laughs> and he can't, now he's in. Yeah, now he's, now he's in. That was hilarious. Everyone had a huge that laugh was, about uh, that. Everybody I went, every once in a while, I go to YouTube laughing. and find it and just watch it again. It's just... It was the ultimate prank. <laughs> You're right up there. The yeah, they the could world. close the, the, the patent office joke department uh. after that one because you can never, never outdo that one. <laughs> Maybe we will, though. Never say never. What was your favorite gag of all time? Soon the lonely nights will be ending. Soon two hearts as one. soon that day will come so we're continuing to have some problems here is what happens when he uses the link you sent him i don't think he got it we're not friends on facebook <laughs> you're not <laughs> well, sent you some oh, right well, now. well friend friend him now's a good time to do it <laughs> i can't it won't let me oh. <laughs> Email address and send it in the email. But how's he going to check his email? He's not going to know to check his email. Well, because he can. Well, he can. They get. They they get. They get type right there. He can hear what we're saying, and he's. I mean, he's just not in the squares, but he's following the feed. Yeah, yeah, he's he's very. He's following the stream. What Ryan tells you to do. Yes, listen to Ryan. Link twice for You know, there's, there is a complicated way to check to see if you've got messages from people you're not friends with. Oh, we can't even get into that, Howard. Yeah, Dave. yeah, that's... Dave? Dave, on, on point there? It won't, it won't... Well, this is good. That's why we do this.
sending me messages. Let's see. Okay. This is not show related business. Looks interesting though. Pete's Garage. Pete's working on a great Mustang. He's not wasting any time during this lockdown. He's building a Mustang for his daughter. The kitchen's already built. He's just fixing it up. He's building a Mustang for her. What a lucky girl. Yeah, it's beautiful. What a it's lucky nice. girl she is. One of the real old ones, like Imagine the original your dad ones. Building you a Mustang. Yeah. He keeps making it better. And then he makes YouTube videos about it. The guy's got the world figured out. He makes YouTube videos about it, and like a million people watch, and then they send him tools. Oh, wow, that's nice. And checks. I want people to send me crap. I'd like to welcome Andrew H. Nice to see you, sir. The McWundies. Thank you so much. Buffalo show business couple, the, Mc the McWundies. Oh, I love the McWundies. Very generous support of the arts. Not surprised. Those are two creative people right there. She should color the picture. She should. Mari, you got to yeah, color um, City Hall. Mr. Lundy, talk to um, McNeil, would you, for us? Because she does such a beautiful job. She's a professional. We, we want, yeah, Mary wants McNeil she and I together here. We were coloring to cover the picture. City Hall, the City job. Hall coloring book the coloring picture. Page. That's all the yeah. rage, the page. She's you got can, a color city hall, and it would add to our celebrity cachet. We can say just yes, look on Mark. look on Mary's wall, yeah, and you'll see page. you'll see the blank. You'll see a lot of beautiful colored ones that people have submitted. But um, have her just save it, print it, and color it, and then uh, That's right. send it back to us, and we'll uh, just post it. That's all just she's got post it. it. Just yeah. post it. And then we'll take it from there. This oh, is becoming a thing. <laughs> McNeil's a professional yeah, McNeil, she graphic artist. Her. We were coloring in one of those Dollar Tree coloring books here once. And she was killing it. Yeah, she did a beautiful page. Just, you could tell it broke in it. She's really good. Yeah, I'll pass it to her What's the status on our bear? Got to get him out of the lounge. He's sitting there in a tuxedo. He's got a, we're wasting a perfect tux. Good, good evening, Andrew H. Wonderful to see you, sir. If you want to join the uh, Zoomers tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Pete's Garage. Andrew, anybody else out there in Streamland? You simply go to zoompianobar.com. That's a brand new web address we have. Just for this, for your convenience, as, as Barry can attest to. Good for all night. You can come and go. Yeah. You can so mingle and come back to your yeah, seat. Yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah. It's nice. It's a nice set. Set up. Yeah. I just Ryan will figure it out. All right. Hey, Jay's, Jay's got his mic going. Oh, wow. We got it. I was wondering why he wasn't I talking. To it. I went out. I uh, went out and came back in. Oh, I was just thinking it was quiet. Ah. I was going to suggest that. Yeah, that usually does it. That's how they could fix the, the flu. They could just turn the world off and turn it back, reboot it. You're a special guest, Andrew. We never know here at Lounge Academy. The producers never tell me who the guests are going to be. Ryan doesn't even know, and he's the president. Yes. And we're surprised every, every week it works out greater than ever. 
We've got Brittany from Denmark. We've got Jay from the island. He's on an island with Bill. Looking behind the scenes. Yeah. Ryan, where's he? Ryan has an extra, oh, yeah. extra oh, duties I'm tonight. With text. Brett congratulates you on, on being able to keep your house and not have to be concerned with his demolitions. Well, like that. That thank you, amazing. Jay. Right. Thank you. You know, I appreciate that. It is, you know, I mean, it is. It, it is an act of God. The world, the world had to like get a royal screw job, but but it saved the house. And I got to admit, I was telling Mary this morning. I said, you know, We're still I real like I could I could feel the, the the burden lifted. You know, I mean, I was carrying that around for. Uh, more than a couple of years, I think yeah. they were pulling that and stuff. Now the convention and, and I mean, visitors bureau can't you know, book a convention to say, oh, "Well, I don't want that. I feel bad, but at least they." <laughs> oh, I said, "Oh, you know, I mean." Yeah, it is what it is. You know what it is? They, there's a reason. I'm, I'm really starting to think, and this, this would be up Vicky from Denmark's alley, and you know, we've had conversations about you know, extra sensory kind of things. And I'm not, you know, supernatural. And I'm not, you know, <laughs> I'm not a sensory. I'm not like, you know, I'm not in the, you know, I mean, I don't discount anything. It's just, it's just, I just don't have those sensitivities to be able to pick up any of that stuff. And somebody else probably does. I think they might have better eyes or ears than my cat can hear things and see things, right? So it's the same idea wider spectrum of perception. I, I realize I do not have that. doesn't mean it does not exist. So I don't think about it a lot. But I got to admit, this place, somehow, and it, it was written up in books. Like, when was that? 2004 was the last time it was written up by Father Dunn. Yeah. He said, amazingly, still standing. Yeah, you know, that was in 2004. Yeah. And Amazingly, it is amazing. It is, and now it's amazing. It's, it's still amazing. standing once again. And yeah, there's you, something about this You wonder if there's some, something about this place, yeah. you know, in the the vibrations of the, the way things are set up. Yeah, that is an interesting way to look at it. I don't know. It's not, I, you know, I just yeah, try to pay my terrible. gas bills and stuff, but it seems like, you know. The foundation oh, was mine. It, all the foundational blocks came from Sedona. This is the thing. Yeah. That might be it. That, that could explain it. I think you can play at this point, Howard. Howard, it's very clear. This house is here to this it's, day. it's very clear. <laughs> this house is here to stay. <laughs> Not for a year, <laughs> but ever for a day. In time, the convention center will crumble. <laughs> Visit Niagara will. Visit Niagara will rumble. <laughs> They're only made of clay, but this house is here <laughs> to stay. So there. Well, we wish everybody the you know everybody the best, you know. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I feel a little guilty, you know. It's like survivor's about, guilt, you know, because, I mean, even though... We didn't ask for this. We just wanted the house to stay. We didn't pray for it. Didn't but it's, I, you know, people, maybe people should, like, be careful about trying to screw this place over, you know? <laughs> I know, like, I'd... It might be protected. Yeah. I'd, be, like, I'm, I'd be afraid if I put a vinyl window in or something, like, you know, I, something really bad would happen to me. <laughs> this house doesn't take any any BS. <laughs> <laughs> or if I put or if I put one of those tub inserts in the bathroom or something, something horrible would happen to me. Yeah, they've been talking about moving it. We worried that it wouldn't survive the move if they moved it. That it's an old house. I don't yeah, know it, it's really I don't know how it it's just it's just held up by gravity. We were gonna walk alongside it carrying our drinks. I had the craziest dream last night. Yes, I did. I never dreamt it could be. But there you were in love with me. I saw your lips. 
lips next to mine So I kissed you You didn't mind it at all When you're away Such a break It's never happened How long can a guy Go on dreaming If there's a chance that you Have a dream like that? Thank you, Denmark. There's an applaud coming all the way from Denmark. Okay, I've officially done everything I can possibly do. Okay, wait. Okay, I see he's got his uh, top secret. Oh, yeah, why didn't I just send it? Because I'm not friends with him. Yeah, and there's no that. option for That's a great friends. idea. See, this is why Ryan's the president. <laughs> you did exhaust all your options. <laughs> yeah. Are you talking about Gary or Barry? I can Barry. do that. Barry. Did you try to Instagram, Ryan? <laughs> I'll Instagram him. Is Barry on Instagram? Did you DM him? <laughs> I, I can probably talk to Barry. Are you going to be our tech support person? Here, I got it. Jay I, is tech support. Why didn't you tell me? I've been accused of that before. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. Okay, he's got the link. Well, how are okay, sending the link now, so maybe it'll work. All right. Yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed. It should work because he's been on Zoom several times, you know? And it's the same same deal. So he's, unless he's on, like, a different computer or something than he was using before. Maybe he's using the computer for one thing and using the phone for the other thing. Oh, uh -huh. he's here. oh wow. Barry's Someone's here. at the door. So well, well, that was easy. Him. Why didn't Why didn't I just send him the link? That's what happens when you're multitasking. <laughs> Barry, hey, he looks dapper. We Barry's here, ladies Barry's and gentlemen. Hi, Barry. Man, look at that tux. He's beautiful. <laughs> you never know the world's going down the toilet. <laughs> look at Barry. This is a classy joint. I like it. That's great, you got in. So how would you make that happen? Yeah. Okay, well, you know. Well, I'm glad of that, Barry. Hate to see a tuxedo go to waste. <laughs> Especially in this age of scarcity, there's not a lot of tuxedos around. I didn't see any out here today. I went out there with my suit on earlier, and I realized I'm the only one dressed up downtown. Nobody has a reason to dress up. It's weird. U.S. attorney's over there setting up sting operations. He's in his pajamas. Probably shouldn't make jokes about the guy. powerful person in the state. Yeah. Very nice man. They like their donuts over there. They're donut lovers. We've, we've got a relationship. Janice is still, still has a, has a 
She's low on the good wine. You know, that's been a problem for several weeks. You might have to order some takeout wine. They do. They deliver now. They deliver now. Yeah, they do. A lot of them. I think that's going to stick with us when this lifts, too. I think people like things Here's a song about the... Uh, about a, a book that's going to be out about the Statler history. If they asked me, I could write a book. the way you walk and whisper and look. I can write the preface on how we met. She's got to write her book. And the world would never It's four o'clock in Denmark. Four in the morning? Maybe it's four in the morning. Oh, it's about two, I think. Oh, it's two in the morning. The simple secret of the plot well, is, is just that Vicky's gonna tell Vicky, him a lot about the Vicky. Statler. We'll be in and the Let's world see, yeah. discovers <laughs> when Vicky's book ends <laughs> how to make two lovers. Sensation Guy Bellary explained to me yeah, once no, no. that Pell Joey's what really got him launched oh. into this music. High school still something? do that as a musical, Pell Joey. It's a popular high school music. I've never seen it's, it. it's the song, yeah. it's the show that inspired Joey. Guy <laughs> yeah. Bellary. Oh, wow. One of the greats. Right, H. Pog, Buffalo. Historic night here, as far as. So, hello, Barry. Hello, Dave Lori. Looking good? <laughs> you are, too. Oh, look at Barry. He's so Hi. damper. Look at that Great place. That's that's uh, yeah. the safe is behind that painting, Dave. It's on a hinge, isn't it, Barry? Bust, <laughs> etc. It's like Gomez. It <laughs> opens up, there's a big safe behind it, that painting. Well, Barry, for, I'm looking for forward a toilet to paper. the finished painting of the lounge category. Oh, yes. That's waiting to get her iron.
look at that. This is cool. I feel like I'm going to get poured on. I feel like I'm at the frat house, Jay. It reminds me of we're at Crystal's house. Where's Mr. Moore? Yeah. Yes. Where is he? Have we ever hunted him down? I mean, everyone's on Facebook. Where the heck is... Of course, teachers could stay under rocks because of all people like us come looking for them. <laughs> That's true. Yes. We're seeking vengeance. Where's Crystal? She was in... Uh... We could get Crystal. We should test her or something. Yeah, we got to get a hold. She's teaching. We got to get a hold of Crystal. We, I know we, we hunted her down. Um, Ken McGuire found her. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we got to get a hold of her and try to get her to, you know, zoom in with us on Friday night. We'd have, we'd have a class reunion. That'd be so cool. <laughs> they say. I'll move the mountain. I thought of this song this morning when Mary asked me to bring the garbage can. And he did make a good job with that. Terrific job. Say the I'll move the mountain, because there's nothing I wouldn't do. <laughs> and I'll move the mountain. He went out in his suit. If she wants them out of the way. on, keep jumping back in. We're going to be here for a couple more hours almost. This is what we do. We do this. This is what we do. Who was it that said that? Gary. <laughs> this is what we do.
Gary is zooming in. We had Ari. So that should open the door for Gary. <laughs> Ryan, if uh, Ari could be on Zoom, it's cool enough for anybody. Yeah, where's Ari? Ari yeah, you know him, he's got a lot of places yeah, to be in, yeah, spread yeah, himself yeah, around. Yeah, we'll have to um, reach out to him. Yeah. 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 A lot of people out there watching the stream tonight. There's no sports to watch. So relax and watch Lounge Academy. And if you'd like to actually be on the show, like these fine dressed individuals, these classy people, you can you can be just like them. Throw on your throw on your lounge outfit. Your fancy duds. And then hit on the old zoompianobar.com and it's gonna blast you right into lounge again. Costs a dollar forty, dollar and forty cents. Let's keep the riffraff out. Am I married? That's right. We could have made it less, but it keeps keeps the troublemakers out. We want the upper crust. That's what we've got. He's not, but that's okay. That's our rules. So don't say anything about pants. You don't even have to own pants. Lounge Academy, we we We're from the waist up here at Lounge Academy. That was, that was kind of daring. I was afraid of what we were going to see that. I thought this was going to turn into one of those Zoom bomb things that we had a couple weeks ago. I'm wearing pants. Favorite song. 
Well, I know he liked some of the John Balby songs. In fact, I think he inspired some of them. We should get to Get John Balby. No, I didn't say that. John Balby's sister is an opera singer. And when I was working at the news as the classical music critic, this opera CD showed up from Noxos Records, a very good recognized label. And oh, yeah. It was... I, I can't remember exactly which opera it was, but I saw in the in the front of the back, Elaine Velby was one of the singers, and sure enough, that's John Velby's sister. So Whoa. I guess the whole family had that vocal training, you know. And I had a sister. But she she had her she has a good Ba-da-da. career if she's on that label and doing those operas. Yeah. I wonder how many <laughs> lyrics. Pardon? Yeah. It's I wonder really how many songs she's in and making Elaine cameo Velby. appearances in. I've heard he's a really good guy, too. I don't know any of them, but that he... Um, I, I, my understanding is he's nothing like yeah, this. Yeah, he's a family. Yeah. Imagine with your kids. Uh, well, you can't listen to what I do. Of course not. <laughs> but I guess, you know... I he was just ahead of his time. Now all the pop music person. has lyrics like that, right? Oh, I remember... Yeah, at least he's showing a light on Stage it. one, the After Dark Saloon... Um, the library in the falls. The what? <laughs> the um. The showboat. At the foot of hurdle. Oh, I, I the barroom buzzers told that. me about the showboat. I heard about that. The barroom buzzers used to play there. They were telling I me. I saw John Velby the there. He he recorded his White Album there. Yeah, I saw that, Howard. It's the. Uh... Bunch of my friends are yelling in the audience in the, on the album. <laughs> <laughs> They're yelling at the help. <laughs> John Balby forever immortalized Governor Hugh Carey. Oh, what does Hugh Carey rhyme with? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> what is Hugh Carey? Governor, you carry her upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he sings with such relish. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Dirty. Yeah, Dr. Dirty. I mean, but he just sings with such enjoyment. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Yeah, we went to one of his shows together once, Howard. Just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe we could. Cle- maybe we could make like. No. Maybe we could make like clean songs up out of his, and people would just laugh because they knew what they were. What they were, you know, like I. I saw a, uh, a Scarface. Remember the movie Scarface? Sure. I watched a TV version of it where they like dubbed in like words that That's would so make your mouth move about the same way as the yeah, words like, that they had to edit out. Yeah, and it was like hilarious. The, it was hilarious. It's like this, Hitler responds to Georgia reopening. Miami's, a, <laughs> Miami's just a big chicken waiting to get plucked. <laughs> That was one of them, I remember. (laughs) (laughs) And you got this gangster saying that, you know, it's hilarious. (laughs) Thank you, Andrew H. (laughs) Which rendition of which, Andrew? I'm eating an apple, but see, I'm using clever camera angles, so you don't know that. You can hear it, though. <laughs> crunch, yeah. crunch, crunch. Well, this is a... This sound stage is very alive. That's an Empire apple from the Clinton Bailey market. It actually sounds a lot like when Bugs Bunny is eating a carrot. Mm, good yeah, I know what you mean, Bugs Bunny eating a carrot. And then he talks while he's eating a carrot. I think they were actually eating something when they... The voices. My my apple is being heard around the world. <laughs> it's amazing the sensitivity of this cheap equipment I've got. You know. I know. Now we see Barry in landscape view. Yes. Oh, we do. Yes, Barry is. Like the landscape view. Barry. Couldn't see what was happening. Maybe that's for the best. Yeah. Maybe so. What's the background there, uh, Ryan? 
This is EB Green's. Oh. Well, that's our, the mecca of lounge. Yeah. Although several people who have seen this have thought it was a casino. That's all right. We're yeah. seeing it. Yeah, if you didn't know. Yeah, if you didn't know that. Right. Because where else would you now would have like that loungy of a look, you know? I used to go there a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she was fantastic. Why I heard there was some some of her stuff is is made it to you. I think I didn't. I did. I send you a link. Is this Amphibia? Barry, I think I sent you a link. Didn't I, Barry? Of um, Ampha Daily. She that was wonderful. Just yeah. discovered recently some of the recordings <laughs> up on uh, YouTube. Her kid put up. If I didn't, I'll send it you the link, Barry, because you'd love to. Wow. I now I understand why you went there to hear her. She, I mean, she was like over the top great. something from orchestra wives. <laughs> orchestra wives was one of the two Glenn Miller movies. The other one being Sun Valley Serenade. Sun Valley Serenade, right. Before he was tragically lost during World War II over the English Channel. By friend with fire, they say. and nobody will know what it is because even Paul Kokoda never knows what the verse is to this one. I always I catch him with this one every week. I was never spellbound by a starry sky What is there keeping score.
captioning. You can never have too many gimmicks. So they say. But they say a lot of things. You can become a Zoomer, just like these fine dressed, classy upper crusters right here. Just go to zoompianobar.com, press go. Remember computers used to say of go? Didn't computers used to have go? I think it hit go, I think, instead of enter. Like in the 1970s or something. On our Tandy 1000s. Yeah, they, I remember the first computers at the Ontario Science Center up in Toronto when I was in high school in the late 70s. All of a sudden, I mean, that now we have all these capabilities that you couldn't dream of then. It was just so cool to sit there. And you know, it's amazing that we happen to have the span of lifetime to have seen. Yes, we did. That, yeah, that's and to have been able to adapt to it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mary Howard, I recall having the first. Brick cell phone ever. <laughs> the first brick I know, cell I know the model. It was a yeah. Motorola. Those big putty colored ones. Yes. IBM yes. computer color. Carrying it around, I thought it was wonderful. Yes. It, well, it yeah. was. Yeah. Little, it little was. suitcase. <laughs> yes. Princess Diana had one of those. Well, the suitcase <laughs> case came just before that because I had that one too. I was an early adopter because I was, I was in the yeah. inbound telemarketing business. So I had to have a phone all the time, you know, so that afforded me a little bit of freedom. And uh, yeah, I, I had the uh, Buff Buffalo Telephone was the name of the company, right? Barry, that's where we used to get them, Buffalo Telephone. Doug Dickinson was the salesman. For, I don't know why I remember his name. I think I think because it was such a big deal. I thought like such a big shot because I got a phone. And uh there was a, it was a it was an actual mobile phone unit, you know, with all the boxes and wires and stuff in a suitcase. And I think the first one I had, I don't even think it had a battery because it, it would have been like too big and heavy. You had to you had to just plug it in somewhere. Like it was like a portable car phone, but you had you still needed the car, I think, to use it. It was, <laughs> just, it was portable. Yeah, it was, the, it was the car phone wasn't a, a true mobile phone, it was your car phone. Car phone. And then, um, What's the hard I did, phone? Ryan, I had an actual had, car phone. That one that you had to carry around it. The bag I phone? I loved it, because, you know, we were on call all the time. We had to have, like, quarters in our pocket. Uh -huh. You know, Over the pager. pages and things. Uh -huh. We were out at a restaurant. Uh -huh. So this way, you know, we could be out and I'd lug the phone into the restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, had on, I had it on my boat. It was great. It was like mm -hmm. liberation. The best model, Barry, maybe you, you probably went through the same phone, you know, generations that I did. The best one was this Motorola. It was in a bag and it had small lead acid batteries that fit in the bag too. And that thing, they were a full five watt analog system. You know, it was before digital came along, and it had a speakerphone thing on it. The thing was so, first of all, you could hear it ring anywhere, like in a construction site. And I went, I took it to, to the rock band Talus at the After Dark, and I was like, uh. right up front, which it really wouldn't even matter where you are. If you're anywhere on the block, you know, you know how that is. You know, with Talus, you could literally feel your pants blowing on your legs from the speakers. <laughs> And I was able to hear it ring and pick it up and have a, a comfortable conversation with Talis playing. It was, it was the ultimate test for one of those things. Wow. That was the best. And then they, when they came out with digital, then they phased out the analog. So even if you wanted to keep the old bag phone instead of having the, you know, the, the flip phone, you, you couldn't. So. Talis is one of Doris Jones' favorite bands. Wow. Really, she is. Yeah. I'm not surprised. How I love Talos. I love Talos, yeah.
Yeah. Remember how loud they were? I did. They were the loudest thing on earth. Oh, wow. When we went to that concert in the car, or tell us, yeah, like, where we all said, yeah. you and George and I all said, we weren't going to go in that independently. We were all there. <laughs> The, oh, the group weekend, the Hudson Brothers. A oh, weekend, yes. Yeah, yeah, they were great. I used to see them at. Uh, it's a great name. At the place that burned down. Thumpers. <laughs> there, there. I think it was mean. There was Mean Guys East. Yeah. Weekend could do a really good rendition of Roundabout by Yes. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, with Rick Wakeman. Yes, from Yes. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Barry might play that on the piano right now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they run down. Here's one for Paul. Paul Cambria, wherever you are, he usually checks in from his bowling alley basement. Yeah, he has a bowling alley in his basement. Paul Cambria, you must remember this. Kiss is still a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. The fundamental things apply as time goes by. And when two lovers woo. brings as time goes by Moonlight's love songs never out of date Heart full of passion Jealousy and hate tuxedo coat that uh, Andy and Selmo gave me. And I said, well, I need the rest of it, though. Well, you need yeah. the, like, the cummerbund and the, uh, the tie and the, the, the shirt with the ruffles. <laughs> I'd like to get tails. I'll just never get over 
the fact that I did not inherit Leonard Panario's tales. I didn't. They were not offered to me. I don't think they even got rid of. Yeah. He got rid of his tales. It was so cool to see these concert pianists. You know, if he didn't get rid of his tales, if they were still in a box, I probably would have wound up with them. Oh, wouldn't that be great? Imagine having Leonard Panario's tucks and tails. You did wind up with his Hawaiian shirts. Yeah, I got his Hawaiian shirts, which are, like, almost as good, but... Imagine that putting that on and the, the, the to think that he was. Uh, I mean, I don't even know if I could play with putting those things on because I would so just cool. feel like I'm just not those, worthy. Those, those old guard pianists when they come with the Philharmonic, like Van Cliburn when he did it. Yeah. I mean, and they have their tails and they flip them over the back of the bed. Yeah. That's so cool. funny. Really funny. Funny. I know, but it's cool. That's a nice old convention. You could consider a white dinner jacket like Rick from Casablanca. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be cool. Or like Alex Leonard had a kind of a white colored jacket on when he came here in the summer. Oh, from yeah. New York. Oh, yeah. Oh, he looked great. That was fun. Yes, he did. That was fun. Were you I could see. I could see. I had a nice uh, Paisley uh, velvet jacket. Well, that, that, that would like actually be kind of lost. Awesome. Do you have one? <laughs> I think Howard should watch. Dave, that do you really have one of those? I'd wear that. That'd be great. We could do this. We could do this song if I wear that paisley jacket. Up at dawn and sleepy and yawning, still the taste of wine. Then I remember your mine and I've got a world that's fine. before me, routines that bore me, punch the clock at eight, but what a lucky guy I am, I've got a world that's great, atom bombs, Cape Canaveral and false alarms, half the universe is up in arms, so I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you remember your mind then, I've got a world that you, got a world that we, got a world that swings. Take you on a wild, wonderful adventure. Fly like a kite from space, no strings. I don't want to lose the bell that rings. Cause I've got a world that swings. I've got the world on a string. Sitting on a rainbow. Tied the string around my finger. The string reminds me you're mine and I've got a world that swings. Adam Fox, Cape Canaveral and fossil arms, half the universe is up in arms, so I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you remember to love me forever, I've got a world that you got a world that we got a world that swings. Oh yeah, we've got a world that swings. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. That's a great line, man. I love that line. That's one of my favorite lines in all music. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. I that includes opera and everything. I love that. <laughs> it's genius. Here's one for Dan H. Great. It's a great request. When I wrote for Frank Sinatra.
I'm sentimental So I walk in the rain I got some habits Even Dan H. can't explain Good start for the corner Turn up in Spain Why try to change it now? I'll sit and I'll daydream. I've got daydreams galore. Cigarette ashes, there they go on the floor. I'll go away weekends. Why try to change me now? Why can't I be more conventional? People talk, people stare, so I try. That's not for me, cause I can't see. Passing me by, so let people wonder, let them laugh, let them frown. You know I love you till the moon's upside down. Don't you remember? Why try to change me? Why try to change me? Why try to change me? Now. Great request by Dan. Thank you, sir. Oh, one of my favorite Cy Coleman tunes. That same tune. You know, there's a guy that wrote a lot of great songs. No, that's the one where I called back that night. Oh. Wow. But I, was be, I was supposed to be studying surgery. <laughs> hmm. This wow. is incredible. But we never knew this. Barry, I didn't know that talent. You made those, Barry? I, I, you know, I never carved anything after that. That's amazing. That's beautiful. It looks like something well, from Disney. You're a real cut on. What? Kind <laughs> of That's incredible. Never carved wow. anything after that. That's amazing. Look at that. He's got the whole thing the piano. Okay, okay. Enjoy your retirement, Dave. Yeah, we love to Make a long drive. Mary. Yeah, about 30 feet. Yeah, drive safely after drinking all that wine. <laughs> Shout out to Gretchen Krakow. Nice to see you in the lounge, looking great. You just know she's looking great. You don't have to bother. You don't have to bother seeing her at check. It's just impossible. It's impossible. If you want to come on the, the Zoom, show off, you know, if you got it, flaunt it, right? You know, just go to zoompianobar.com and you can join the beautiful people, the, the well dressed people in Buffalo, people wearing tuxedos and beautiful vintage suits, each one with a special story behind it. Yeah, that, that is the line, Dan. That is the line for that song, I agree. Till the moon's upside down. That is a beautiful line. Sometimes, I, sometimes and it, I was always your clown, I love that. Don't you remember? Yeah. I was always your clown.
it's good though. Lots of songs have a line that just stands out so much, yeah. like that line. You just wonder if like that line came first and they wrote a whole song around it. Like you know? I like, like the clown the line. Right. They would add little clips of this and that, and then Paul and John would get together and get out their trading cards and say, I'm going to fix it fit with what you had. That's uh, yeah. a lot of uh, Abbey so. Road was like that. Everybody's got different things that work for them. And they're they're all different really. Yeah. Mary doesn't believe they wrote any of their songs. They're so good. No, I don't believe the Beatles wrote their songs. She's yeah. she's a conspiracy theorist. She thinks like somebody else wrote the songs for them. Someone told me that once that they and ever since then I was I've been wondering about it. I don't, don't think they had the intellect to write something like when I because after they split up their songs didn't amount to much. They couldn't write anything, and I, I just don't see how those Lennon McCartney songs. I think someone else wrote them for them. I just don't think they wrote them. I'm just no, gonna no. say it because after that they couldn't. Mary, Mary, and the best she, explanation she, anyone could so. give me was that it was kind of an she alchemy, and that when the two of them were much. together. She actually wrote that in like in a buzz column or something. Oh, I got hammered. I got a thousand letters. And there was there was like a, a hipster fuck law against her. Yeah. And she actually. <laughs> I didn't she even want to win at the last minute. I tried to pull it, and the editor said, "No, we're running this thing." And I go, "No." She had to go on the radio, right? You had to go yeah, on the yeah, morning. She had to go on the morning radio. drive to a pal to explain herself. She, oh, that's hysterical. To, it was kind of like a like an I apology. Like, I'm sorry if you're offended, but. I honestly. Doesn't make sense to me that they wrote those songs. It's I mean, an interesting theory. I mean, they're, they're, some they're, of them they're, are so beautiful and, and sophisticated, and I just don't think they had. The, I'm not saying they weren't good musicians, but I don't think they had those kind of brains. I just don't think they. Well, did. and they never could come up with. They I never could so. discuss intelligently how they wrote the songs either. Something like someone asked Paul McCartney how he wrote "Yesterdays" or something, and he goes, "Oh well, we wrote it over breakfast, and we almost called it scrambled eggs." You know, I mean, somebody who wrote a song could talk about it, and they never were able to talk about how they did these things. I'm just saying it, and now it's going to be in your mind because it got into mine. You're it does place now. a little doubt. It does just, place that doubt. It, it placed a little doubt in my mind. But and later they wrote, why I, don't we I do think it they in wrote. the road? I, I think they I wrote, why think. don't we do it in the road? They did write some songs. I'm not saying that, you know, but they didn't write, I don't think they wrote, um, I don't even know the names of all them. Da, 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 da. I don't even know all the Beatles. I do know all the Beatles songs. Cause I, know I just don't think they could have written those nice songs. And when I'm 64, that doesn't sound like something they could have written. You know, it just doesn't. I wonder how much George Martin, you know, talked some well, of that's a thing too. And, he did do a lot. Yeah. Built a lot around it. Yeah, long and winding roads and stuff. But you know, their music is full of this kind of thing too. There's nothing wrong. You know, it's a business and people, they are good performers and they were Well, somehow, the somehow they got those songs. Yeah, and it, it all worked out and those they songs got, wouldn't exist if it weren't for they them. They got them into, somehow yeah, they made, but gave I just them, don't think. brought them about. I can't people are listening to me on this. <laughs> I mean, it's a, I just. I think there's something to be said to for collaboration. There is, yeah. That's the best explanation that anyone's been able to give me for this. Well, maybe when Lennon and McCartney were together, something magical happened with maybe. But I don't think, I just don't think so. But whoever it was now, here's I though, Jay, there, this is the other thing though. And that now I'm being devil's advocate with myself. That how can you keep a secret in this day and age? So if someone else did write it, that secret was kept pretty darn well. And uh, not many secrets are kept that well. So that's a, that's a thing. I think James Files wrote on this. Am I blue? Am I blue? I do too. I just want to Yeah. Aren't those tears in these eyes? I remember when you used to hear those songs on music. You used to hear yesterday's. Am I blue? Yes, it is. You'd be too. Each plan with your man, gun fell 
through There was a time I was the only one But now I'm I'm the sad and lonely one What was I gay Till today She's gone and we're through. Am I at Big Blue? You are. I am. We all are through the miracle of electrons. <laughs> it is weird that we're all here and we're not. We're here at Lounge Academy. If you're just tuning in, or you, welcome to the lounge. Makes you a lounge cadet by default. And it just starts there. It goes from there. As the lounge lifestyle starts seeping deep into you. You begin to crave it as we do. for me. <laughs> Alone. Otherwise I'd have competition. Beyond the crowd. Above the world. We're not too proud to cling together. Song is strong and weird. for crying out loud. But we're together. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it is weird. I know we're very, you know, sanguine about all this technology and these things. You know, we're really we're really cutting. I mean, has a piano lounge ever done this in the history of mankind? We don't know unless there's previous civilizations. Right, Jay? Great. Atlantis. You don't think this generation, you don't think this civilization could have invented the piano. Too much technology. Doesn't break. We didn't invent that. It's got 4,000 moving parts in it. It never wears out. What's that, Barry? Say thanks to Christopher Fiore. He, he was a good guy. He, the piano. he made it out of like a harpsichord or something, didn't he? he? Put leather. Is he the guy that put the leather? Replaced the plucks, the little plucks with the leather hammers. Yeah. Which came first, the clavichord or the harpsichord? 
That was hard, I think. And the one, the one in the Adams family was good. Yes, Lurch. Yeah, he was, he'd, he'd rock out on the thing. Would be nice if you could add one of those to the show, maybe in the future. Well, it's some, it's something to consider, you know, these Zoom things. Well, all, the di all the digital keyboards have those on. They sound pretty good. They, they do. I'd like to get my Rhodes down here. I mean, Mary's Rhodes. Oh, now you're talking. Howard, uh, do you know, I have an 88 stage key Rhodes uh, nice. tucked away at the moment. Wow. Um, and I wonder uh, if, uh, I'd love to get a vibrato kit for it. If, if there's such still out there. Um, it's one of my 500 projects. Um, yeah. It's a nice thing to have tucked away. We've got one. Got on the we've got one in a hallway at home that we Tuck like. We walk around it every day. Is that the roads? You're about? <laughs> yeah, we got it sitting there, yeah, like, waiting to come down, down here. here. It's, it's nice to have it down. The cap goes under it, and we go around it. It's been there for like forever. Sell it on eBay. <laughs> it's like abandoned in place. Like it's just in an upstairs it's hallway. More than you think. I'm gonna sell it. Let's just bring it out. Let's okay, throw it in the truck. The weather's one. nice now. We'll throw it yeah, in the dump nice truck. My sister helped The donut truck. Yeah, it'll be fun. We'll put it in the sky. You got a great funky sound. Apple computer too. Apple too. Oh yeah. Twenty five hundred dollars or something. Oh come on. If you didn't, if you didn't throw it out. <laughs> Those are going for a lot of money now. Yeah, we had three of them. We bought a uh, Windows 95 computer. Skylar. Have you anything to say to me? Won't you tell me where my love can be? Is there a meadow in the mist? Where someone's waiting to be kissed. Oh, Skyline. Have you seen the valley green with spring? No, I put it out to the road. Where my heart can go on a journey. Over the shadows and the rain to the blossom covered lane in the lonely night. Have you heard the music in the night? Wonderful music, faint as the will of the Crazy as a moon, sad as a gypsy, serenading the moon. Beautiful line. <laughs> oh, Skyline. I don't know if I can find these things. My heart is riding on your wings. So if you see them anywhere, won't you lead me there? Johnny Mercer and Hoagie Carmichael. A couple of rares. What about that one? The color Janet's, Janet Drought is back. Oh. Socially distancing. Who is? Wow. It's great to have you back, Janet. She's been distancing herself from the alligators down in Florida.
night, Chase. It's wonderful having you here. Jay Farquharson, ladies and gentlemen. How about another big, another big round of applause for you? Jay Farquharson. Multi talented. There he goes. He knows how to make an exit and an entrance. Notice the panache he had when he closed that laptop. There's a seat in the VIP lounge opens up and people are scrambling to put on their tuxedos and their suits and, and hit or their beautiful evening gowns, sequenced evening gowns, and clicking on zoompianohar.com and getting admitted into the VIP room. Costs a dollar and forty cents. Admission. Keeps the riffraff out. We could have made it less, but we wanted to keep it a week, right? It's for the high rollers. It's a high roller room. So that's how we roll here at Lounge Academy. my eat the rest of my oh, tuna yeah. sandwich button right now sandwich. watch this i could hit this button and eat a tuna sandwich watch this if you don't that is great click over do the cherry juice or you know something now the zoomers oh, can yeah, still I watch know. me eat this they can usually watch. have cherry juice in my no, no, no they can't i like the cherry but they're yeah, seeing the that important. they're seeing what's being right. going out forward to them. right exactly <laughs> the people who are not the, the zoomers are seeing now that screen. Drinking so is everybody else. Bourbon. Oh, okay. Oh. Not Which a bad looking screen. Before, no, it's not. Here we are. Lord, I have two loaves of bread. Yes, I get a number of different ones. I'm going to duck out and bake these loaves of bread. It's hard to tell what the difference after one or two. Or something? It's about it. They're just going to write. I, I've got to get them in the oven. Well, the first drink, you, to you can taste some difference. I have loaves of bread that that. I have to make. Because they're going to be risky. Oh, good, same. You want to put them in the oven? Pretty much. You can get used to just about anything. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah that's what that one. Yeah. Normally, I drink can I whiskey. Can I get on Zoom when I get home? Now I'm drinking bourbon yeah. whiskey. So I just I like get on my tablet? Or on your or tablet. On my tablet. Yeah. And right. I yeah. get on, what do I do? Go to Zoom? Yeah. Zoom. Play Canadian Club or something like that. It would be but yeah. if you get to the higher end ones, zoom piano bar. Zoom piano they taste bar. too good. Yeah, or just um, and you drink more of them. So. Send me a message, and I'll send you. <laughs> that's good. Okay, the link. Otherwise, you could use the thing to see how it works. It's okay, that'll be fun 40. to do. Okay, I'll pay yeah. dollar forty. Right. <laughs> I'm making a sale. More shameless advertising here now. No, I'm making a sale. Oh, I've just made a sale to Mary. Howard's eating a tuna sandwich. Oh, yeah. I'm finished. I'm eating the the remainder of one. Well, my piano doesn't come over the the iPhone very well, so I can't fill in for him. Are you sitting at the piano right now? Yeah. Because yeah. it's a convenient place to put the iPhone. Sort of eye level. Oh, it probably would come through. Uh, I think the last time we tried it, it doesn't. It, it doesn't uh, do very well. Oh, that's good. No, it's, it's good.
Does it sound all right? I mean, because oh, not, I, not I, as good as in person, but I can hear it. Yeah. No, I think the last time we tried it was all like sort of half coming over. And... Well, it was pretty good that for thing. me. <laughs> well, I can't wait until we can hear Lady in Red in person. Oh, yeah, Lady in Red. But you can. Hey, if you want to play it in the intermission. <laughs> Intermission by none other than Barry himself. Listening Appreciate to that. stuff about that song, it was uh, the number one song for a while in 1987. Yeah. Very polarizing. A lot of people hated it. But Princess Diana thought it was so beautiful it brought her to tears. Really? No. Oh. I think she was in tears a lot. Dan H. <laughs> asked about this song. Oh, 
doubts and moonbeams when I kiss a pug nose dream when I kiss a pug nose dream Jimmy Van Heusen and Johnny Burke another couple of songwriting ringers remember that one Barry? yeah yeah. To me, that song is just comical in a way. I mean, who would think of a song now where someone talks about kissing a pug nose dream? <laughs> well, if you put it to kind of a rap kind of thing, you know, I wonder if you could remake some of these, like, and just kind I mean, of hip them up a little bit. Is supposed to be like a romantic thing? <laughs> well, I think it, I think it was. I guess. Yeah. You were maybe cute. Would you go up to a woman now and say, "Oh, you're you're my pug nose dream"? <laughs> you, what what you would you say? I don't. I think that would not turn out well. Well, that was before the nose job was invented. <laughs> now everybody's got all this plastic surgery, and you know, everyone looks the same. What happened to Mary? Oh, she's heading to the Zoom lounge. Oh, really? Yeah. She's going to be transmitting from, uh, from the Zoom location. Yeah, Dan, you're the one that hipped me to this song a few weeks ago. I thought so. Gregory Evans. How are you, Gregory? What's that 62-inch screen? see my haircut on that 62 inch screen look at this I, I I've been learning to cut my own hair Gregory Evans in Southern California I mean it's you know I mean I, I, I somebody who's like a pro would look at it and say what you know say so you better go to the haircut repair shop you know but for, for a DIY I mean it kind of got look at this there's the part I gotta say. there's the part well, thank you, Barry. Yeah. yeah, I was wondering. See, the look at the back, even the back. I did the back myself. It seems like every few days you post that you gave yourself a haircut. Yeah, I do. I do it. So, um, did you normally get your haircut every few days, or is this like a new? No, thing? just Since you can do it. You have all the power. Exactly. Yeah, I am. I'm exercising the power just because I have it flexing my muscles. I, I, I I'm actually. Him. Dr. Zeus, because these are here are called the sets. They have one hair upon their heads. Their <laughs> hair grows fast, so fast, they say. They need a haircut every day. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, it is a lot like that. I used to like Dr. Zeus. And uh, still do. Ooh, I need a haircut. Well, you should just do it yourself, Barry. You're a surgeon. Well, my, my it's surgery. Doing it, but she's sort of erratic. Just give her some animal clippers. Yeah, I gave her my like shaver that flips out and Oh yeah. Pull it put a comb there and right, right. Pull the comb. Right. Yeah those and you made those a, work you good. You gave us a hint you should go vertical and horizontal, right? Yeah, yeah, that's um I think that's one of like the basic premises to like most of a haircut. It, it'll determine whether you get whether you get a ridge, you know whether, whether you get a layer or whether you get like a fade, right? So if you go horizontal and cut, you're going to wind up having, you know, you'll be able to see the difference. You'll be able to see the layer. It'll be, it'll be you know, there'll be like a line. And then if you, if you go the other way, you could, you could make it fade. So you grab the hair this way, like that. Grab it between your fingers like that, and then you just cut there you can actually do it with a scissors at, at that point because uh, you can feel where your fingers are you just line up the scissors where you know your fingers are you don't even, you're better off not looking in the mirror because it's confusing if you do you know for certain areas just give yourself a haircut without looking there's just there's a whole bunch of what I was yeah there's there's a whole bunch of different like parts of our head that have require like kind of a different approach you know so you learn this like bag of tricks 
you know, you just take it slow. What else we got to do, right? So, you know, you learn that one. The top, the top and the sides, it's easy because you don't have to use the clipper, you know, you can just. You just let it grow out, Howard. You just let it grow out like I am. Well, <laughs> I, um, I could have, but I, I just, uh, I, I don't get my hair cut frequently normally, just to answer your original question. I usually go like a few months. I mean, I, I could go three or four months. I haven't cut it short like this. And then I let it grow out and I just keep putting it off and stuff and you know until I till it's just like you know it has to get done until it becomes like an, you have to run into the emergency section of the barber shop and uh, intensive yeah, intensive that, care section every five weeks five weeks well, that, that's probably that's um yeah, you know, that's not a bad sure. schedule I don't go to a barber shop till I go to a nice blonde girl. I well, yeah, you're better off spending seat. your money on that than on that getting your hair cut. <laughs> well, she cuts my hair too. Oh, oh, I, I misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going to the same person for over 10 years. Oh. And before that, I was going to this woman for five or six years, but she went crazy, so I stopped going there. Oh, that's a good reason. I've found, you know, I'd, I've had long relationships. I'm a loyal person, you know, to people, you know, and my real, all, every, all kinds of my relationships are always long ones, right? Same thing with my, my hair stylists or barbers, whatever. Usually they're hair, you know, hair salons that do men and women. So there's stylists and I'd, I'd wind up like driving like forever to go back to like an old neighborhood because I'd feel like I'd be letting them down if I, you know, they, you, they build up a relation. They're smart. They're, it's like a piano bar, you know, almost, you know, where they, you wind up in a relationship with, with these people and you, you feel loyal, you know, so you, you go way out of your way. You make all these appointments that are, you know, inconvenient and you everything. You walk in and they don't know who we are. <laughs> Yeah, I like a place that where they don't. So I started after having these bonding situations. You know, I had mo moved, and you know, it was the, I had to make a change for I forget why, but I I was off the hook. So um, I tried supercuts, where it's just really impersonal. You get you don't even know who you're going to get, and they have a high turnover. And you don't need an appointment. So I, I liked that, you know? Well, I again, had the opposite experience. I used to go to a different place all the time and I didn't keep a regular schedule. And uh, now that I go to the same place and I know I'm doing it every five weeks, I like to go in and sit down and not have to say anything about what I want. Yeah. Well, that is nice. And you don't have to explain anything. Yeah, I know because every I know what you mean because every no matter who I get at Supercuts, they ask me like arcane questions. Like I'm supposed to know like what number clipper they used, right? Mm -hmm. On my side, it's like well. <coughs> You know, now I know, but now I know that's not even a good question. Actually, it is a good question because they use the, these clipper combs that are all numbered, like they go double ah, you know, to zero to up to, I don't know, I don't know what number eight. they go up to eight or something. Eight. No. They're, um, you know, they're also like quarter inch, eighth inch, three sixteenths, and everything, but they go by these numbers. But when I just shopped out to buy a set of combs for my animal clippers that I use for my hair, they, um, they're called combs. Those are those plastic things they put over the metal cutters. And there's like three or four big major companies that make them for the, for the barbers. And I bought one of the companies and I did, they're, they're not expensive because they, they probably, they're just plastic, but 
they do not have like a standard, like they'll, they'll, their double lot or their number three is not the same as the others, right? So if you went into a strange barber shop and said, give me a number three up the side, it wouldn't necessarily be this, they wouldn't necessarily have the same brand and standard of that. But um, apparently at Supercuts, they must, maybe they've standardized among the various people that work there where they all buy the same. Because they'd ask me like, what number side clipper do, I could never remember. So can you put it on my permanent file or something? You know, like you ever get number the same three. person twice? I have, and, and I've actually, like, if I like somebody, I, I'd uh, ask them for their card and remember their name, and then I would check on the app to see if they're working, and I would ask oh, for yeah, them. The yeah, the app is what makes it really cool, because now I'm right around the corner from them, too. My shop literally is a block away, without, without any even major intersections to cross. Um, they're, they're over in Marshall's Plaza, right? So I can get on the app on my computer and say, oh, great, I'll go right now. You know, and you get an instant appointment and I'm there in like two minutes. But I'll probably never go again because I don't think my hair is ever, you know, get get long again. I can just keep you cutting it. it figured out. I do, and I, you kind of, it's like anything else. It's like tuning your car up or something. What's, you know, you acquire an interest in it. Once you learn a certain amount about a certain craft, right? You, you they're all interesting. All, everything's one big subject, really. Everything in the universe, if you expand each one enough, you know? So cutting hair, it's like, yeah, I, it's kind of cool. Now it makes sense and you can control it. And, well, you are literally the jack of all trades anyway, so why not the hair? Well, well, that's true. That's true. I do like to <laughs> try to try to do everything myself if I can. And I happen to have the equipment because my, my uncle, you know, left me his his old clippers that we used to use on him. And I looked at them, beautiful old. That's pro they're probably valuable because now they make like remakes of it because. The, the barbers think they're so cool, you know, so they make try to make it look like it's really made out of Bakelite and everything, but they're, they're cheaper. This has like the, I, I, I read up on it. This thing has the motor where it goes real slow, but it has a lot of power. And the new ones, they have to gear them up because the motors aren't as powerful. It has that burning smell. It has that smell of like an old Lionel train when you turn it on. Yeah, that, that ozone or whatever it is. It's, yeah, it's fun to use it. It's got a really long cord. Very flexible for an old cord. It's a beautiful piece of equipment. It's maybe Oster, O-S-T-E-R. That's what happened when I took Zach to hairdoers to get his hair cut one time. Yeah, Betty, go to, uh, Betty wants to Zoom. It, you go to Zoom Piano Bar. It's on the screen in yellow there, zoompianobar.com. And then you could get your admission. We have a half hour left, so there's plenty, plenty of time. That'll be great. We gotta get Betty up there. She'll be good for business. See, look, if it was a bad messages here. If it was a bag phone, it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I know. Actually, it didn't have a bag, but it was all like had a handle and an antenna that stuck out the top. We're gonna start making phones that look like that. <laughs> That'd be great. That's a great idea, well, Ryan. Well, they Let's do it. The razor, which I love.
Betty, are you finding your way on all right? in the house, ladies and gentlemen. songs in this book we haven't hit in a long time. What's the weather going to be this weekend? Maybe. Yeah. Should have you saved know, snow over our fields. those leftover dreams. Funny but here's that rainy day.
Jimmy Van Hughes and Johnny Burke. Yeah, they made that into a happy song. Well, you know, I'm in a good mood. I thrive in chaos, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> the dam. song in your head and then it's like man there it is song. Yeah, love that. Pretty song. Thank you, Celine Dion. Celine Dion. 
She was just here. Oh. <laughs> Marvin Hamlish used that line. We were at the BPO, and he's doing a pop show, and uh, somebody walked in in the back, you know, kind of in the middle of the show, and he, he goes, he had a good sense of humor, you know. He goes, oh, don't worry, you know. Come on, come on, sit down. Don't worry. You didn't, you didn't miss anything. You got here just in time. And then he goes, thank you, Celine Dion. <laughs> Place went nuts. It's funny. Because <laughs> you had to be there. He was a funny guy. He had a great sense of humor. I'd love to get you on a slow boat to China. All to myself. Get you and keep you in my arms evermore. Leave all your lovers weeping on the faraway shore. I'm on a briny with a moon big and shiny. computer on a slow boat from China right now. Cost $13.99 with shipping all the way from China. $13.99 for an Android tablet. The French found a case of COVID from December 19th. Wow. It's one of the... Uh, no. Or one of the... Around long before it was around. We're not allowed to talk about COVID. Oh, that's right. Well, you can talk about the fun parts of it. Now, it's not about everyone you know dying and being sick. I mean, we do that the rest of the time. You know what why? Are fun, what are the fun parts of it? <laughs> Scarf Lady is kind of fun. You know why? Because that's life. That's what the people say. Oh yeah. You ride high in April. In lockdown in May. I know I'm gonna change that too. When we're back on top in June of 2030. Oh yeah, that's life. as it may seem, some people get their kicks, stepping on dreams, but I don't let it get me down, on account of this old world, oh yeah, keeps going round. Andrew H. 
the man understands life. Right, Andrew? That has to be a reason why they're cheap. What we want to know is, can you get us uh, H, what is it, HCQ? I have some in my pocket just in case it works. Barry's going to write us all scripts here on Lounge Academy. Yeah, all this stuff is more promising now. I hope so. Recyclable beer or whatever they call it. Yeah, that's stuff. Yeah. Recidivism. Because I feel so well No sobs, no sorrows, no sighs This can't be love Because I get no dizzy spell My head is up in the sky My heart does not stand still just to hear a beat This is too sweet To To, to be loved This can't be love Because I feel so well But I love Look in your eyes Rogers and Hart Rogers, thank you, Barry. Rogers and Hart wrote all their songs in really small type. Yeah, they do have authenticity. They do. That's good, though. It keeps us on our toes. You're watching Lounge Academy. We have 11 minutes. Different experience not being thrown out several times. It is, it is a lot smoother not getting porno zoom bombed so far. Yeah. So are we um, going to have the, the uh, 11 o'clock end point for the show? Well, I, I, I got a feeling we probably are, right? Since you're bringing that up. Well, it was kind of funny before because after a certain point, we just let zoom kick us out for the last time. Oh yeah, yeah, we could stay on like forever, for a month. Yeah. Well, I, I do have to get my beauty sleep, so. All right, well, 11 will be a good, that's the official time. It's 10.50. 10.50. Not leave until the show Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that comes with the price of the ticket. That's right. You gotta get your money's worth, Barry. I think I paid a couple times tonight, so I don't know what Grace? We, we try to rig it to where, you know, people accidentally pay more than once. We make money on the breakage. It's one of those business yeah, models. I, I think, I don't know, maybe it happened with the email address or something. Like, you know, typos and you got fat fingers and. Your vision is bad. Did you uh, use your phone to pay for it? Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, here's uh, a Matt Dennis song. Yes. Matt Dennis yeah. wrote some beautiful music. Okay. The words were by so Tom Adair. Pay for it. It should be written right on there. You got I brought you violets for your food. Uh, I didn't get the, uh, first time it was spring that. for a while. I brought you violets for your friend. And it was April in, in December. Snow was drifting down the flowers.
on a summer day. I brought you violets for your furs. And there was blue in the wintry sky. You planned violets for your furs. And gave a lift to the crowds passing by. You smiled. A great lounge pianist, pianist I mean, who wrote that song, a lot of people played and sang. Kind of I think we did pretty well tonight. He was so great. He was he wonderful. He was also yeah. a musical director for some TV shows and things, too. But he, he loved to be behind the piano and just playing and singing, often his own songs. Well, he made a cameo appearance. No, that's good. A little yeah, black and white movie yeah, that I saw. It was called The Bigamist. There was a there's a movie I called The Bigamist, the and there's one song in The Bigamist. There's only one song in The Bigamist. Well, I don't know. I didn't see and he's like he has a cameo appearance where he's playing his song. He wrote he wrote it. And uh, be like five o'clock in the morning. Then. The yeah. stars, the <laughs> cheaters were dancing in a dark lounge, so it was very, very effective. And he could not have been more convincing because he was really doing what, what he did best. Playing and singing at the piano. Our souls. I know. If you called your girlfriend at college, that, that would, you know, <laughs> your parents would be saying, What the hell are you, are you doing that? Pack up all your cares and woe. Here I go, singing low. Bye bye. Bye bye, Blackbird. Where's somebody? Waits for me, sugar sweet, so is she. Bye bye, Blackbird. No one here can love and understand me. What hard luck story. Been 
nice. Mort Dixon and Ray Henderson. Ryan, president of WBIG TV. Well, I guess, gosh, I guess it's 11 o'clock. It's 11 on the dot. Oh. I see Alex Leonard is in the room. Yes. That was great. That was exciting when he came here. Made us, you know, kind of made the academy kind of like legit, you know, a legitimate academy. Ever since. That was an amazing night. It was. I'd like to thank everybody for making tonight uh, such a blast. All the, yeah, thank you, everyone. All the streamers and. Now we should have uh, Richie playing the national anthem. <laughs> we should, but he he's. Found, found out a while ago. Yeah, he. Uh, Apparently, you know, he's not that patriotic to be here, <laughs> to be here to do the thing. Yeah, I think he's in Russia right now. He's watching uh, RTV. WBIG dot R U. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to thank all the people that, well, well it's 11 o'clock, Dan. Um, it's when the train's running, but. Well, you want to stick around? You're going to, you're going to zoom on and stick around? I don't know how much later I'm going to stay. I'm going to uh, zoom Probably not at bed. all. Everybody's... <laughs> well, good luck. Have a yes. safe trip. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Thank you very much, Barry. Appreciate it. Thanks for spending Lovely evening. the evening Thank with you us. Very much. It's been a great. You made the show oh. look great. All right. See you See you next All right. week. Good, see, you next good. Week. see you next week. Same place, same time. Okay. Same tuxedo. <laughs> no, I think I'll buy a new one. Buy a new one? Yeah. Hey, why not? Would you like the old one? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. You gotta get one. You gotta get one. Buy a new one. I'll take your old one. I like that idea. <laughs> I'll get it tailored. 
All right. We'll see you. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Bye bye. I don't know how to turn it off. Well, well I guess you you're on here. You're on here. <laughs> I'm on your permit. Do it, I, think. I should be able to do it. Oh, oh there he goes. He found the button. <laughs> so this is it. Well, this is it. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks. Um. We'll we'll be back here. Now, I think the Zoom was. Uh, a big success tonight. The, yeah, the we latest. Yeah, a very successful night. We did. The technology worked amazingly well. For most people. We well, that's the, the yeah the user interface, but I mean nothing broke. You know the technology itself. The, uh, the, sorry, the the humans, human factor. Has to be. Yeah. Just massage well, we at least some people who got in with no assistance, so we know it works. We know it works, yeah. Makes sense. Well, you know, once uh, everybody will be a repeat offenders, you know, so once they've used it once, it's, it's easy. You know, so as we all get accustomed to the new stay at home world that we find ourselves in, and we drape ourselves in the appropriate technologies, Gregory Evans. Say goodnight, Dick. Good night, Dick. Good night, Dick. Thank you, Dan. You've been great. Wonderful hanging with you. Say good night to Christine for me. Say hi and, uh, and good night. And thank you, Barbara Fisher and uh, everybody and Andrew H and uh, the McLundies and Janice Schlau and on and on and on with all the great cadets and we'll, uh, same place, same time next week. Everybody stay healthy. Here goes the finger. Bill Jenkins. Thank you, Bill Jenkins. Appreciate it. Thanks for hanging with us. Appreciate everything you do for us. And uh, say hi to everybody on the island for us. Here we go, Ryan. Okay. Now, this is going to kill the stream, but it's not going to kill the Zoom watch. Bye, everybody. Bye.